Hello, thank you for agreeing to give us time for this interview. Can I begin by asking you what the transformation of the power markets means for Schneider Electric? What are the opportunities it throws up for your company? I think we, we see three transformations in the power market today. The first one is um, that many companies um, are becoming aware about the impact of, uh, of how we consume and generate energy in the world, and they want to do something about it. Uh, sometimes because they are under the pressure of their shareholders or just because they want to be more socially responsible and do a better usage of, of their energy. That's number one. Number two, uh, definitely you see that from a technology standpoint, thanks to the, the rapid decrease of cost of wind, solar, or, or, or lithium-ion batteries, very quickly, the way we generate, transport, and consume electricity will change dra dramatically, going from a, a centralized generation system to a much more decentralized uh, system. And the third thing, the third element is, let's call it IoT, the Internet of Things, the fact that it's becoming extremely cheap to connect a lot of sensors and a lot of assets uh, in, uh, in a large infrastructure. So with these through three trends, uh, we, we see a lot of changes which are, which are going to, uh, to come in the next few years. So if I was to ask you to highlight uh, the, the main one or two opportunities that you think you will be picking up in the next few months uh, or, or the next 18 months, what would they be? I would say, well, it's already happening. Uh, in, in many sense, uh, it's a market in the making. So Schneider Electric today, for instance, is participating in 40% of the, the, the PPAs when it comes to renewable, when, when a company is looking for a renewable source of energy. And they, they, many companies today are committing on becoming greener and, and using more renewable energy. And to do so, they look for advisors and people like us who are going to help them. So that's first first aspect is to help those companies realizing and uh, that, that, that ambition. The second thing as a technology provider, we participate in this innovation of how power is going to be generated, transported, distributed and consumed uh, uh, over time and working with our customers first on the side of energy management, making sure that we get the same output in a building, in a data center, in a, ho in a house, in, in a manufacturing facility, but with a, a lower uh, energy intensity, being more sustainable, more responsible with the usage of energy without uh, hampering the, the outcome once again. It's not about um, using less energy to get less. It's, it's uh, getting the same or more with uh, a lower uh, energy intensity. And our technologies of energy management and, and automation in buildings and in data centers and, and, and in manufacturing facilities are helping them uh, pursuing that, 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 that goal. And the third thing, we are investing a lot in, in IoT. IoT is 40% of our uh, turnover today. Tomorrow, 50 billion devices. I mean, tomorrow is in three years from now, 50 billion devices will be connected. Um, this is a major force that will help our customers uh, make their systems, their, their assets much more efficient and be much more aware of how energy is consumed uh, and, and, and utilized in, uh, in all the assets. Um, are you finding from your customers that they know what they want or is it companies like yourselves who are helping them discover things that they did not know they wanted but that can satisfy a need? Yeah, we have a, we have a, a team uh, uh, which is purely dedicated to advise companies on, 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 on this and uh, one of their main products is called Resource Advisor. It's actually a software that helps companies figure out what what they need. I mean, we, we don't want to say that we have the, the absolute truth, but we know a bit about energy management, actually. Um, and, and yes, many companies are, are worried. I mean, if you, there was a recent uh, a survey, uh, I think done by PwC, uh, where 97% of the CEOs of large companies said that they are concerned uh, and they want a solution about how they can make their company more sustainable. Uh, but at the same time, if you look at those companies, in, um, in two-thirds of the cases, they have a sustainability program, they have an energy efficiency program, but it's not structured, it's, it, 
the databases and the data are in many different systems, uh, even it's in, in different areas or departments in the company. And this is normal because, again, it's a market in the making. So we just try to help our customers and the companies in that case to make sense out of all those data that they already have, actually, uh, and, and trying to, to formulate in a more uh, uh, exhaustive manner their sustainability strategy. Thank you. That's very interesting. All the best for your future business. Thank you very much. Thank you.